Alright guys, so if everything works out, I am gonna have a double upload today. I was gonna make my recommendation slash what's left in my Sephora cart video and also show you guys everything I purchased during the first half of the VIB sale all in one, but I thought it would be more fun to split it up and do a haul separately just to kind of give you guys more ideas of what you can buy. So if this is the first video you're seeing, definitely make sure you watch this to the end and then check out what is left in my Sephora cart and let me know if you guys think I should pick up some of those items or stay away from them. And if this is you coming from my recommendation slash what's left in my cart, hello, welcome. I hope you guys are excited. I honestly showed so much wrist train when I placed this order. You guys should be so, so proud of me. You guys know I am a savage when it comes to makeup. Somebody actually left me a really funny comment and said that my merch should say makeup savage and I am totally on board with that idea. I don't know when me and my husband are gonna find time to design my merch, but it's happening. It's gonna happen, guys. He's such a talented designer. I want him to do my merch with me. He's got so many good ideas. So um, just so you guys know, I have claimed makeup savage, okay? <laughs> And you guys can be my savages. <laughs> you know, every like YouTuber has like their name for their subscribers and I think we can just be the savages. <laughs> we can be the makeup savages. I hope you guys like that idea. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about me calling you my makeup savages. <laughs> Okay, so here is my little basket of stuff that I got. I was so good, you guys. You're going to be so impressed. So the first thing I did pick up is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Glitter Kit. Now, the reason I picked these up is because in the little pots, they all look white, but they're these beautiful iridescent glitters and they look so beautiful in the swatches and like I said I've been heavily influenced by Amy Love's makeup. She is the queen of inner corner highlights in my opinion and I thought hey let me grab these and use them in my inner corners but I recently received a PR package of the Kaleidos little highlighters and these are all beautiful iridescent highlighters so now I feel like I don't really need to have this in my collection because it just seems so cumbersome to have to reach into a little pot with a little brush and a glitter glue and do that whole deal. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna keep this. I haven't used this set, so I don't feel bad about sending it back because at the end of the day, if I'm not gonna use it, I don't wanna hold on to it, you know what I mean? And then I picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills little highlighter kit. How cute is this? You can put it on your tree. It's like decked out like a little ornament. So I was excited for this because I want two of the shades in here, I believe. So Hollywood and something else is in here. This silvery white shade, I am terrified of. That is so not my vibe when it comes to highlighters. But again, maybe it's something I can use in my inner corner. So this is $48, $60 value. And you guys know I love the loose highlighter in peach. Fizz. So when I saw a little set like this, I was like, that is brilliant. So excited to try that out that I am going to keep. Okay, so then let's talk about a repurchase that I made. I'm getting low on this product and honestly, I thought I could live without this face wash. It's so silly, but this is my morning cleanser and I try to substitute something else for this because I'm like, Karen, you do not need to pay $38 for a face wash. Um, no, I do. It's that good. It's so gentle on my skin. This is the Kale Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser from Youth of the People. So I'm really, really excited to have this in my backup because I'm very close to the end of the one that's currently in our master bathroom. So I had to repurchase that because I do not want to live without the superfood face wash. So this is my third bottle that I've purchased and since I only use it in the morning time, it typically lasts about a year in my bathroom, which is great. So I picked up another face oil because you guys know I'm a sucker for face oils. This is by the brand Biosans. This is limited edition, 100% squalene oil, hydrates face, body, and hair. So the reviews on this are amazing. The fact that this is limited edition is just the size because this is like a value size of this particular product. So you're getting a lot more product than their usual amount, 
which is great. So I'm really excited to try this. Like I said, I love a good face oil, especially where I live. It's so cold. My skin is so dry. Anytime you guys see me do a get ready with me video and I don't have foundation on and I look like a grease face, it's because I have a face oil on. That is how I prep my skin to wear full coverage foundations in the winter time. I wear so many matte foundations and it does not bother me at all because I always prep my skin. That is my little trick. Tried and true and tested. Trust me, it is so cold in North Dakota. If you guys ever feel sorry for yourselves, just go check the weather in North Dakota and you won't feel cold anymore, I promise you. So this is the squalene oil. It says, show off your glow with our luxurious limited edition 100% squalene oil made from renewable sugar cane. This high performing oil weightlessly locks in moisture for soft, smooth and healthy looking skin and hair. I am so excited to try this out and I don't know what else is in here. 6.76 fluid ounces. I'm so excited. This is typically the size of a face oil I get. So the fact that I have this much product, I'm going to be lathering myself in this and I will definitely report to you guys how that works. I'm so excited. I'm so freaking excited. This wouldn't be a holiday haul if I didn't have some glitter and I meant to use this in this look today, but I totally forgot and that's okay. This is a glitter top coat mascara by the Sephora brand and I was so excited for this because I love like a little hint of glitter, especially around the holidays. Obviously, I don't think this is gonna last like the whole year round, but I thought this would be fun to incorporate in some makeup looks for the holidays. So this was 10 bucks and I was like, why not? So the fail of my Sephora haul is this little guy. This is the Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo in the shade Soft Peach. Now all my Caucasian friends love this blush and listen, I had a little bit of FOMO. I was like, maybe I can make Soft Peach work. Maybe it's more peachy, orangey. Like I was expecting a shade like this, you know? And it's not, it's, it's way too light. I did use it today. You can kind of maybe see it on my cheeks, but I did go in with a different blush and highlighter as well. So this one unfortunately does have to go back. Don't kill me. I'm sorry. It's just, I'm not gonna keep this. It's like almost $40 and it doesn't work on my face. Like, what am I supposed to do? So I am gonna be sending that one back. Just a disclaimer, all you tan girls out there, if you've been hearing so many people talk about Soft Beach, I think it's gonna look beautiful on light skin tones, but on me, it's too light. So just so you guys know. And then the last thing I got is this Norvina Mini Pro Pigment Palette Volume 2. And it's so funny because I wasn't gonna buy this, but I figured since there was a sale, I'd try it out and see. And I think I saw Temptalia. She did a beautiful look with this palette. So I'm excited to try it out and see what I think. And I like the size of these mini palettes and you don't get a ton of product, which is so, so nice. And they're at a very affordable price point, which is really great as well. And this was really the only eyeshadow palette I picked up from the sale because you guys know I have like way too many eyeshadow palettes. So I just picked up one to try out and see. I really, really want some other palettes and I will film a current wishlist video to update you guys on some of the other palettes I really, really want. But yeah, I just thought this was cute and these three shades definitely freak me out because they're very light, but we'll see how it goes. Definitely look for a video with these products on my channel soon. I already used the cheek product, like I said, so that's going back, but I hope you guys enjoyed my little Sephora haul. Definitely toned down for me, but I'm okay with it. Don't worry, my November haul is still gonna be very excessive as per usual. So hopefully we can get it together in December and uh, review stuff instead of buying stuff, we'll see. I mean, I can't imagine, I feel like every makeup brand is like outdoing themselves with makeup right now. Like they're coming out with so many amazing things, but I don't know, you know what I mean? Like how much, how many more new things, how many times can they reinvent the wheel here? Like it'll be interesting to see. So anyway, let me know what you guys picked up. Definitely go ahead and check out my little recommendations and what's in my cart video for the last day or two of the Sephora sale. I would love to hear you guys' feedback and thoughts on all of that stuff. So I will catch you guys soon and thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.